Welcome to Big Bend Ranch State Park. It is an absolutely boring evening and I have finally found a composition that I'm so excited to come back and try again, adding this wonderful foreground element of the cactus with the meandering Rio Grande River is just gonna be amazing if we can add a little bit of color and texture in the sky. So there is a comet that is currently barely visible here in the Northern Hemisphere. It's Comet A3 Atlas. I'm not going to try to pronounce the proper name of the folks who found it or the lab that found it. I've tried a couple nights in a row to spot this amazing comet shortly after sunset. I just haven't been able to capture it. However, last night, received one of the greatest gifts of, uh, you could ask for because it's now the second time this has happened in the state of Texas. We had an incredible Northern Light Show last night. And when I say incredible, it captured wonderfully on a camera. It was not visible uh, to the naked eye, but certainly made for a fun evening of running the camera. So take a look at the time lapse of how this beautiful Aurora Borealis show uh, transpired over the night of October 10th, 2024. All right, I know the suspense is killing y'all enough for me being in the field. I'm back home and did I manage to photograph the comet? Well, yes, yes I did. And unless you're living under a rock, you can actually go out and visualize it yourself with just your naked eye. So in order to visualize this, I used a simple app on my iPhone. I'm a big fan of the Sky Guide app. So in Sky Guide, what you're able to do is actually visualize and identify stars that are in the sky. And so in order to find the comet, for the first couple of nights, I was searching the wrong thing. So what you need to type in is the proper name. And so here you can see non-periodic comet C, uh, 2023 A3 Atlas. And from here, depending on what time of day um, or evening it is, you're able to identify where exactly in the sky you can expect to find the comet. An easy way without the app is to simply look towards the west immediately after sunset. There you'll see a bright dot in the sky that's actually Venus. Now from Venus, if you just follow the horizon to the right, you're going to see the comet with the tail. Uh, it's absolutely phenomenal. You're absolutely able to photograph it with a phone. Here is an image I was able to capture with my Sony a7 IV. Now, a couple of tips for photographing this amazing comet. You wanna ensure that your camera is in manual focus and making sure that your exposure times are not so long that you end up with trailing images. So it's important to dial in your, your focus first and then review your image. Now, a tip I would recommend is because you're gonna have your ISO bumped up a good bit in order to capture all that beautiful light from the tail of the comet, my recommendation is to shoot a series of uh, intervals, right? One image after another, anywhere from 10 to 15 shots. Now what you can do is bring those images back into post and stack them in order to reduce noise and really pull out a lot of the amazing detail in the comet's tail. This comet should continue to be visible for the next couple of weeks, so get outside. Even if you're in the bright lights of a city, I know uh, in downtown Austin and San Antonio, my neighboring cities, you're still able to view this with the naked eye. Be sure to get out because this particular comet won't come back around for another 80,000 years. Let me know, have you been able to photograph it or visualize the comet yourself? If not, I hope these tips were helpful uh, to allow you to step out and be able to enjoy this amazing phenomenon. Do me a favor, if you enjoyed this video, as always, be sure to hit that subscribe button for more content around astrophotography, travel, and my favorite, the Big Bend National Park uh, region of Texas. A like is also awesome. Wishing you clear skies, happy comet viewing, or northern lights if you happen to see those again. But 
Thanks so much for being here. We'll catch you on the next one.